Welcome back to Math with Miss Sheehan. Um, today you're going to need your learn book. We're going to be on page 135. So I'll give you a moment to get there. Um, today we're going to be talking about pictographs. Do you guys remember those? Pictographs are kind of like bar graphs, except instead of using bars, we just make pictures. And I think I told you, um, a lot of kids get pictographs wrong because what? That's right, they don't look at the key. Okay, so today we're not gonna have a key, but in general, look at the key because sometimes if it's just like, oh, it looks like there's five animals there, one of the pictures could actually be more than one. So it could say like, one heart equals five animals. And you're like, what? That's totally different. So don't get tripped, okay? All right, so what's going to happen is I am going to show you my pictograph. Um, you can do it along with me. I'm on page 135, and what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to kind of just walk you through this page, and, um, and then I'll show you what mine looks like, and then you can do the next page on your own. And, of course, I have the um, answer key in case you are wondering if it's right or not. So... Um, it says the Central Park Zoo Animal Classification. So um, to the side, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our own pictograph, okay? So where it says title, you can write the title. Um, you can either say animal classification or you could say animals at the zoo. I bet you've seen some of these animals. Um, there are all kinds of birds, fish, mammals, and reptiles, okay? So what you're going to be doing is you're going to write that title at the top and then you're going to fill in the pictograph with um, whatever kind of pictures you'd like. I'm going to choose to do hearts because it's really easy for me. Um, you can choose to do something totally different. Um, whatever you want, I would say don't do it too intricate because too detailed because then it will take a million years, right? So you're going to want to, um, at the bottom section, you're gonna want to write maybe just a letter. Like, I don't think that I could write the full word for bird in there. So I might just do a B for bird, okay? And I see that there's six birds. I'll just show you mine. So I made six hearts for birds, okay? The next one is fish. So I looked and I saw that there was five fish. So I made one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And remember, if I'm ever going too fast, you can just pause it and unpause when you're ready. Okay. The next one is mammals. Mammals, there was 11. So I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. And the last one was reptiles and that only had three. So I added three. All right. Awesome job. Does your pictograph look kind of like mine? You might have different pictures, that's okay. All right, so we're gonna answer a few questions now. So if you look at your page, um, I'm gonna read letter A, okay? So it says, how many more animals are mammals than fish? And so I'm gonna look back at my pictograph and I'm gonna be comparing my mammals and my fish. So there was whew, 11 mammals and only five fish. So you could do 11 minus 5, and that gets you to, what is it? 6. Or you could always see where they're equal and count up. Nice work. All right, so that's going to be for letter A. Letter B says, how many more animals are mammals and fish than birds and reptiles? Okay, so we're gonna have to add up two different things here. So first, it was the fish and the mammals, okay? So we're gonna say mammals, 11, plus fish, which was five. What does that equal? 11 plus five, 16, right? And then for my birds and my reptiles, birds was six and reptiles was three. So six plus three is nine. Okay, so we had 16 and we have nine. 
I wonder what the difference is. Remember the difference is the subtraction problem. So we'd say 16 minus 9. What is 16 minus 9? Yeah, 7. Nice job. All right, we have one more question here um, with this pictograph, and I will show you this again. So it says, how many fewer animals are reptiles than mammals? So we're going to be comparing reptiles and mammals here. And as we see, we have 11 mammals and we have three reptiles. So we do 11 minus three. What is that? Eight. Nice work. You could always see where they're equal and count up. That would work too. All right, nice job. So um, down at the bottom, I forgot to mention this. It says the word legend. The legend is like the key, okay? So for mine, I just had one part equals one animal, okay? And maybe you wanted to start out like that because this is kind of our first time making a bar graph. You could also say like yours would look a little different. But if you said one heart equals two animals, then you'd have a lot less, right? So that's always um, legend and key are kind of the same word, okay? All right, now letter D is kind of fun because you get to create your very own question. So it says write and answer your own comparison question based on the data. What does that mean? It means um, come up with a question you would want to ask someone about this graph. Okay, so a question I had was, how many fewer fish are there than mammals? So I'm comparing fish and mammals. So remember, for the mammals, there was 11 mammals, and for the fish, there was 5. So I'd say 11 minus 5 equals 6, right? Nice job. Okay, so you can do... Um, page 136 by yourself. It's talking about animal habitats. Remember, that means the homes that animals live in. And um, you are going to be creating your very own pictograph for that and answering a few questions. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always look at my answer key. We're going to skip page 137. Of course, you can do it if you'd like. And then um, I am going to read your problem solver for today is on page 143. So if you want to skip um, there right now, I will read it for you. If you want to wait until you're done with that page and then um, just pause me for a second and unpause, that would be fine too. I am on page 143 and I'm going to read problem solver for you. Okay, it says A, use the tally chart to fill in the picture graph. Okay, so first you are going to use that tally chart where it says the number of books read, okay? And you are going to fill in the, um, the graph. The graph is on the next page, on page 144, okay? And so it says one circle stands for one book. So you're going to be creating some circles there for your pictures, okay? Then it says B, draw a tape diagram to show how many more books Jose read than Laura. Letter C, if Jose, Laura, and Linda read 21 books all together, how many books did Linda read? So you're gonna kind of have to see how many did Jose and Laura read together and how many more do you need to get to get you to 21, okay? And then it says complete the tally chart and the graph. So you'll have to fill in, once you find out Linda's score of how many books she read, you're going to fill that in. And then on the back, on page 144, you're going to fill in that pictograph. Okay? All right. Awesome work. We'll see you tomorrow.